I caught that thing? It's crawling around rocks underneath. I've seen them. That looks like the arm of a uh, starfish. No, yeah. it's not. I've seen them on rocks, Nicky, the, the long things on rocks, they look keep horrible. They're like centipedes of the water. Yeah, that's what they look like, yeah, centipedes. Like great big thousands of legs. Yeah. Mm. Like a big long legged worm. Stop that down. Crazy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Shame that something. wasn't a fish though. Yeah. yeah I've seen them yesterday. I come out look at hoping you've got a fish and you've got a really few leggy worm. That's cool. That's no good, isn't it, buddy? I'm Nikki, and this is my gorgeous family. Chris, Bo, Bear, and our salty puppy, Buddy. We've been sailing around the world for three years now on Pickle, a catamaran we bought, renovated, and learned to sail on after I had a life-changing epiphany when I was in ICU with meningitis. Subscribe, welcome aboard, and enjoy the ride. Hugging the old pooch. Wow, down there, right out there. Good cast, bear. <laughs> I'm in the middle of making pizzas. You see, pizzas are just, I've got two in the oven, I'm, two, I'm making two. Busy day to day, like I haven't stopped. We've been doing like loads of washing, washing some towels and stuff, because why we can get some free water supply. Get some, I've got like a flower on my face. Get some, um, towels washed and I had to drag my carpet it's like a big carpet mat thing out of my bedroom because it got wet with a dehumidifier and just stinks damp it obviously hasn't dried properly I didn't realize where the smell was coming from it took me a while to track it down anyway that's been out that's been scrubbed that's been out on deck dry I'm not sure if it's dry yet but anyway the kids just gone over there Chris gone to get some more water kids gone to walk the dog for me no one here so it's totally safe they're over there with their dad the dog and I thought I just seen this sun going down out the window I thought I'll come and show you guys because I know you'll appreciate it look at this wow doesn't look the same as it does in my eyes that's a shame because it's absolutely mental I'll turn the camera and see if it's any better hang on it's so so red it doesn't look it in my camera but I, I, you can just have to believe me it's amazingly red the sun's the reddest the reddest I've ever seen and it doesn't look it at all, it looks like yellowy white. What is that? Look, what is that? Not red. Disappointing, ma'am. Sorry guys, come flying outside to show you that amazing red sky and you can't even see it. Oh, I need one of those amazing, expensive cameras that just pick up all those wonderful light qualities that you can't see on this one. Even so, we're still in this bay. We've been here a couple of days now, just us. We had some miserable old bastards in a boat come yesterday. They come today as well, actually. Oh, they was miserable. Giving you a snooty noogie look at me, like it. Look at me with all the evil eyes. Take pictures of me on the boat. I say the picture of the boat, not really me. And the evil eyes were going past like this, like they wished me dead. I don't know what I'd done wrong, exactly. Apart from anchoring this bay. Don't know, miserable bastards. Anyway, so I got out on deck and went, hi, for the pictures. So now they've got pictures of my boat with me. Been all smelly and happy on it. If you can't beat them, join them. No, no, that doesn't work out for me, does it? Because I'm happy and they're miserable. No, no. If they're miserable, do the complete opposite. That works out better. Anyway, I'm going back to making pizzas. So, thank you guys for joining us on this last couple of days of doing, well, I don't know, just boaty things, you know, hanging out at anchor, swimming. I went jumping off the rocks earlier. That was loads of fun. Trying to avoid the, um, uh, what do you call them? Sea enemies, you know, the, oh, what do you call them? Black things, spiky. Uh, no, it's gone, don't know. You know what I'm on about. And, oh my God, there's these things here, great big, long, long, like sea worms, but they're covered in spikes and millions of legs. They're a bit like an, um, a centipede or millipede. Is it centipede or millipede? Centipede, I don't know, one of them. Oh, underwater ones. And they're like bright orange and pink. They're really crazy, they're really crazy. Anyway, so we've just been hanging out doing some washing. I've been doing lots of editing. Kids are doing some schooling. Enjoying the nice warm weather we've been getting the last few days. Yeah, it's been great. It comes, it comes daddy dudes with some water. How's the water collecting going? You got some water? 
You're going a bit fast. <laughs> ah, <laughs> your water went everywhere. Oh, no. It was coming in with some speed then. I didn't, didn't realise I was so close. And this is what he does. He brings the water back uh -huh. in buckets and then tips them into the tank. I tips it on myself, that's pretty freezing. And then we use a really cool gas heater, uh, like a, you know, what you call a combi boiler thing, you know, just switch it on, instant hot water. And we use that to heat the water up to, um, to wash your clothes and our towels and stuff. So yeah, it's all good. It's all good, good, good. I'm going back to make my pizzas now. You can come with me. And then what all windows you shut the door? I will shut all the windows, yeah, because it's going to get damp. Okay. I meant to do and Bo caught them. Um, well. Manta ray, not a manta ray, pro manta. The must be an army! I'm saving them! Um, Pro-mantis! Yeah, pro mantis! It was in the sea! And there was a lion just jumped to save it! Yeah. You know what? Us sailors must be crazy! Do you know what you? So, Mum, what are we doing? <laughs> We're actually coming out of this beautiful little cove we, we all fell in love with a little bit. Yeah, we stayed We're all going to leave a little bit of our hearts here, I think. Yeah. And we're going to sail, um, actually sail back to where we checked in, just because it's a really easy little shop right on the quay there where you can get SIM cards. We need some more data. So we're going to get some data and get a little bit of shopping, just some bits that we need, and then we're going to sell off again. We'll come back out and go somewhere else. Yeah. As Bear's just explained, this is us here in this little cove. We're going to come out of here, back in here where we checked in. We're just going to anchor a little long bit, go in there, get SIM cards and shopping, and then we'll come back out. Maybe we'll go over here, maybe. Oh, down here. I don't know. We haven't decided yet. We will see. Nearly at our anchorage already. It's only a couple of miles in. I just thought I'd show you this. That's where we're anchoring. It's over there. Look at the mist going into Qatar Bay. Wow, you can't even see the mountains out there, can you? It's so misty. It's actually really hot today. The sun's got some kicking it today. It must be high UV. It's quite hot. It's weird. It's like hot, but like a cool chill to it. Very strange. It must be the, it must be the mist making it feel cool on my skin, but the sun's really hot. I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty cool, huh? Thought I'd show you. Gonna be there in a couple of minutes and then we're gonna anchor make sure we're set for an hour and then we're gonna jump off and go do the jobs we need to do and then maybe go back out you know and find another anchorage somewhere pretty it's anchor the dog running around like a wally it's all right we're only going slow my really it's dead flat no problems you remember a little walk around when it's like this we're all netted anyway as you all know netted and safe there's daddy over there can you see him? I'll zoom in. There he is. Look how like the back end is visible. <laughs> he is going in there. So Daddy's going in on his own, poor sausage. Although she doesn't mind actually. Oh my god. I wouldn't mind going actually, a little walk. But anyway, anyway, he's going on his own. One of us had to go on our own because um we picked up this mooring boy. Here, look. This big old mooring boy. Look at the muscles on it. And 
on deck. Can you see them? <laughs> it's, it's somebody else's, and we don't know how stable it is or anything. So oh we've God. just picked it up, and he's going to pop in because we only need data and a little bit of shopping. So shouldn't take him long, and it won't be hard. And hopefully, it won't get lost. Yeah. Well, it does get lost easily, but mm -hmm. yeah. So he's going to do that, and then he'll be back, and then we'll go. And I, and if anybody comes and tells me to move, I'll just move. I'll just let it go and lo loiter around. They re really can't really anchor here. Um, not only is it very deep, I think it's about 15 metres. I could really? drop the anchor, there's no wind, I could drop the anchor. But it's just complete and utter mooring field. There's just hundreds and hundreds of boys and they're really, really old. Lots and lots and lots of them. So I'm guessing the bottom's going to be scattered with old ropes, old concrete blocks and all sorts yeah. of chain and stuff. So there's a good chance your um, anchor will get fouled. And the problem with that is, at 15 metres, is I won't be able to get down. Well, I, I would get down, but it's, it'll be a really big job to get down 15 metres and pull that out. Won't it, Bo? Oh, yeah, I... I last time when we got the anchor caught it was in nine meters and we couldn't really that was do it. really really hard for me i can't see so it's not nine meters down anyway when it was nine meters down you're not going down like that you're going like that aren't you to your chain so you're actually traveling for a very long time before you get to the bottom you're not going strictly down down like that no. you have to go out to your chain so it, yeah anyway so we're not I, if, if i get moved on i'll just uh let go of the boy and I'll just <coughs> loiter. There's no wind, so I can literally just bob about. So anyway, Daddy's up already. Yeah. Let's show you Daddy. Can I tell him something? There he is. There he is. You see? He's just mauled little... A little tender there. He took his trolley in a, a rucksack so he hasn't got to, like, carry loads of bags or anything. Literally. That's it. And he's there. <laughs> Bear? What did you want to tell me? When they pulled the boy up, he pulled a tiny, tiny little... Sh that like shrimp thing about that big. There's a fish. Yeah, a little fish <sighs> on the deck, and then we put it back in. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was down here with all these muscles, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was still. Alive. I couldn't pick it up because it's so tiny. It was like worming around, so Daddy just like, and it oh, went yeah, under so them, I tried jumped to pick off, it up and then it started flapping. Around. You could eat them, buggers. Why don't we? No. Not enough. Not enough there for dinner, is there? Leave them alone, then they'll be all right. They're all closed. They'll be. They'll yeah. live, and they'll go back in again. Won't they die? No. no they're full of water. Full of water. They close up. Ah. Oh. How was your shopping trip? Was it a success? Yeah. Right, Lauren, have a look. Oh, all right, thank you. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, lemon squeeze, eh? Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Are you ready? Whoa, it went up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Okay. So if we can wheel it back down, do the same thing in, in reverse. Is it going to go through? Oh, my God. But the legs, it's just like juggernaut heavy as well. That's so easy. Why didn't I think I'd do this before? <coughs> That's not a lift of anything. <coughs> That's no idea. Sorry. What the bottom of that? That one. What the freak? Now the sugar thing is Got to bark in the sail again. <laughs> you tell it, buddy. You tell it. Nasty stuff. What's, what's, what's it? What's it doing? Where did that come from? What is it? You're such a loony! It's a really unusual building. Really, really cool. But it's got to be military, isn't it? Anyway, guys, what a, quite a cool day. Sun's out, got a couple of hours of sun left. What a lovely day. All right, Christopher. So we are on the way to our new anchorage. We've just left Zelenica, yeah. I think it's pronounced. Yeah, yeah. We checked in just up the coast, got a bit of shopping as you saw before. Look, we're a bit close again, aren't we? We're a bit close to it, maybe all right. Yeah, we're, we're just, a bit we're just sailing. We'll just sail past the island there. Just around the island there is the anchorage we went into when we were going past, weren't we? Yeah. And to this one we're going to now, but we stayed in there. It was so nice when we went past one. We it was so nice. Ball. Yeah. All quiet, not a lot of people there. In fact, no, not really anybody there. Lovely clear water, it's a bit cold. It's a bit cold, yeah. You did a bit of spearfishing. Yeah, you did. And the kids just chilled out. Yeah. Got a big lilo. Look at that lilo. They've been lobster lilo. Lilo, yeah. The dog loved it because he had free rain running around, didn't he? Free water. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. All topped up. Did some washing, it was alright, wasn't it? So we're just heading towards the anchorage we were going to go to, which is. Originally, Avula, yeah. Avula Barista. There's a few Arza. spots there, yeah, we could go. So we could go there, there. Yeah. Eva, really, I'll be. We were originally going behind here, weren't we? Tap behind the island, yeah, yeah, that'd be alright. Show me where we come from on the map. Zoom out. We have come from. You'll see us, there's us. And we've come all the way from over there. We've been in there a few times. Zelenica. 
So we've just come from here, that's where we checked in, so we've been here. There's a trap. We're just passing this nice military island, I think it is here. I think it is military. It's Complex, I think, and there's another village complex on Edland where we're going. There's another one over there. Can you see, guys? There's like a few boats where we're going, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, should be nice, huh? Oh, fine. arrived at the anchorage and uh such a nice sunset i know like really beautiful there's a castle over there and on this island there's very 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 strange bells that chime every hour and just look at that sun it's crazy oh my god that's like absolutely majestic that is like something out of one of the Hollywood movies. Oh my god. That's our sun. It's just so weird. It's just think about it. That is the sun. That's a planet. And I find so much enjoyment out of watching a planet set. It's weird, isn't it? I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Want to go, walk it. Want to go, walk this. Want to go, walk us. Gonna go over there. Hey. And we're in the castle! Oh my god! We're gonna walk the dog. It's a really pretty bay. It can't be like some strong winds last Come night. Here, wow! I'm me up all night. Couldn't sleep because it's so strong. I was a bit worried. It was gonna be a bit shallow. Now the like maps on my plotter show this is 1.4. Obviously it's not 1.4. It's actually about 5.8 at the moment. It, look how beautiful water is. Oh, it's just so beautiful. It's crystal clear. There's weed here, but obviously sandy patches in between, but it's just crystal clear. You can see over here, it's just all sand over there. Really, really beautiful. We'll go for a swim later. Maybe we can take the GoPro. Show you how beautiful it is. But for now, we're going to go and have a little walk around this one. Might as well explore oh, a bit, aren't we? Really? What see what it's like. Oh, trumpet fish. Trumpet fish. I love trumpet fish. They're so cute, trumpet fish. Over there. I know they're there. I just can't see them. Yeah. Sorry. You and Dad went swimming in the dark? Yeah, with the... Well, Bo did first. Bo was braver. She went first. And then you and Daddy went after with your torches, didn't you? Yeah, when Bo got in. No, wasn't it? No. It's dark quicker, When me and Dad got in, we used torches. Oh. I used the yellow one, which isn't that good, which we used in 2020. And then yeah. Dad used his new one, which he got for Christmas, which doesn't work that well. We have a good pair of torches, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe get a new one. They both still work. Right, anyway, we'll put that for June. Don't worry, Bear. Yeah.
right for him, you can fetch it. Look at the waters. Oh, look amazing. My mask it's so pretty. It's really pretty. Yeah, a bit of sand, I know, crazy. Nice to start seeing sandy beaches again, isn't it? Other than pebble beaches. Oh, that's nice as well, that sand, lovely. There's more sandy beaches as we go up here in Montenegro, apparently. Hi. Hi, Bear. <laughs> I just want to go my mask out the tender. I don't like you're going to swim, are you? Yeah. Wow. Ah! <laughs> it's just round away from <laughs> What is that? Is that a shark? Yeah. yeah, go for it. It's coming towards you. It's literally coming towards you. What's just gone on then, Mum? Hello there. I went in to swim with um, swordfish. And um, I had shoes on. I've never seen so many sea actually in my entire life. Okay, so she just fell over into sea Yeah, I fell over because my ankle's bad, isn't it? I can't walk properly and I put my foot into a rock and, and I didn't want to twist my ankle, so I just fell over. But I fell face first onto fucking millions of... Of sea urchins. Is that to cut a hand open in some places? There's so out? many of them, I can't get them out. They just break. They, they just break. When you try and dig them out, they just break. Look at them all on there. And there was in the back of my foot here. I think there might still be one in there, actually. And my stomach. And my leg. Cut off. Your arm. Look, I got one in my wrist. Look at the. Can you see the reaction I'm getting in my wrist? Can you see, I don't even see it. I'm wet because I was swimming. But can you see how red it's coming up and swallowing? You're meant, you're That's from one. One little thing I pulled straight out. One little barb, look. I pulled straight out. Is that one there? No, I don't think so. So you can oh. imagine what my hand's going to be like, can't you? But, no. Hang on, I'm going to... It's you hit, you can feel them breaking inside your finger. What the frick? <laughs> it's recommended that you soak your hand in hot water and vinegar um, to dissolve the spines and, like, reduce the thing. But if you eat, you're meant to take anti to reduce the swelling. And I did some research because I know quite a lot about sea urchins, don't know why. And um, apparently they aren't venomous, they are venomous, but not like really badly. So they won't poison you, but they're going to react to your skin. Look, if I open it up, you can see, right? It's all right, you don't have to show me, just keep at it then. Are you a bit squeamish, Dad? No, I just don't want to mother her fingers. Who cares? I'm good at ruining the day, aren't I? Again, yeah. It's always me. Because I always do mad shit, that's why. It's always me. Impulsive. That's because I'm the, I'm the adventurer. He's the born one. Doesn't want to do anything unless I force him to. Anyway, it's all right. It's just a sea urchin. I'm not going to die. Really. I just cut out all the sea urchins or dug them out. Um, and then it says soak your hand in boiling water and vinegar, apparently, someone said. So. I've just been soaking it for what feels like forever and my hand looks minging now. I'm not convinced one of them in my fingers totally out. It leaves a black residue behind. The spines like dye the skin around the entry hole, like blue, black. So it's very hard to tell if the spine's in or not. And when you try and push them out, they literally break. I can feel them breaking in my finger as I was trying to get them out. Go, you try and push them out, they go crack, 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 crack. Like a glow stick, you feel them breaking. 
So I've done my best to get them out. I'm hoping they are out. There's only one I'm not sure of, but I've cut it so deep with a razor and I've dug around in there and I can't really carry on doing that. So this is what it looks like. You see? I also had them on my wrist and my heel. That's the one that really hurts. Yeah. Don't focus on it, will it? Anyway, I'm not sure if that one's got anything in it or not, but I've cut them all out. I had them on my leg and my foot and my heel and stuff, but I got them out. And it just all went swirled up and made a bit red, really. They've soaked it in my I'm just not sure about that finger. Looks very ominous to me. I've dug around in there so many times with a knife and tweezers and a needle and can't get it out anyway. But they say this is very painful. But to be fair, I'm in so much pain on a daily basis with my spine. This pain in my hand, it isn't even a one. Even when I put my hand in red hot water with vinegar, that didn't even go on the scalp. So, I don't know, you must have very low pain for shoulders for this to be very, very painful, but I suppose everybody's different with pain for shoulders, aren't they? Ruined our day though, because we was going to go walking over there to the castle, and we didn't get there. But on the plus side, guys, now this is important, I swam with a swordfish. Da -da! And I got pretty close too. I don't think Chris got any footage of it because he couldn't see very well, so he didn't bother. But I did. And I swam out to it and uh, a little swim of it and then it sort of swam away. But that was really cool. That was something I'm going to remember. Not just because I then fell over because of my silly ankle and landed on loads of sea urchins. It's the most sea urchins I've ever seen in my life over there. There are thousands of them. You just can't get out without walking on them. Which was all right because I choose on, but because I've got a busted ankle, it, I felt myself stand on a rock that was like that and I didn't want to go over my ankle so instead of going over my ankle I saved my ankle and just fell forward let myself fall so I didn't go over my ankle again and I just landed on loads of sea urchins so it's one of them innit I will take you over to the castle later I'm just having a coffee and recovering I took some anti-inflammatories which apparently is a good thing to do and let's hope that one there doesn't get infected I'm certainly not going to get paralysis or breathing problems or Anything else they say, because that is tough. <laughs> you hear him? You hear him? <laughs> well, you can hear him. <laughs> I didn't mean any bells, buddy! I'm about three. I, say, I say Rose, I'm fit it. Yesterday, you have any Even when I really need his help, he's like, I got back like in two minutes. I got back there and back in like three I seconds. I didn't put any effort in at all. I'm going to stay there. Sit still, sit still, baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got me back in about three seconds, but you was like a superwoman. Because I, I have to leave you. <laughs> 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 I'm making a <laughs> We're going over there. Well, can I on then, Bear? Okay. I would have a right easy ride there. Now I'd like to get ours in first. Oh, no, give me ours. Oh, God. <laughs> me and the dog are having... I just found it out. Let go. <laughs> let go. <laughs> no, right, let go. Let me do it then. <laughs> I've got... My hands always stick forward when I have my hair top on. No, let go so I can roll properly. <laughs> Pub. Yeah. Oh, my leg hurts. Today for a walk with Chris and the kids and the dog and everything and I noticed something, look! Cannonballs! Up there, let me give you a closer shot. Ah. And then up there. Yes. And oh, up there. Look where cannonballs are there. It's where the cannons have been fired at the building and hit, how cool is that? Yeah. I didn't know it yesterday. It's really cool, yeah. really cool. Come out from, yeah. see here, haven't they? Someone's been firing them. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Let's go. Jesus Christ, the dog's heavy. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, one's at the windowsill. Wow, I don't know how I missed that yesterday when I was looking. That is so cool. So the cannonballs have hit it a long time ago now, I should imagine.
today? Dad. You going in? How do you get all that metal bit? Over the top. Oh, the dog was oh, I won't get it. over there. You would, you know that fat. I won't get over there, there's no way. You would. Hang on. Dad, hold this tomato, please don't throw it. You wouldn't get up there anyway. Please don't throw it. You'd never be able to get up there, would you? Hang on. Yeah, of course. Go on then. Go on then. Hang on. Let's see. see. You're all that there. <laughs> let's, see, let's see you do it. I'll hold the tomato. Well, me and Monkey got up there. I'll come and look in a sec. I'm watching your dad get up here first. He thinks it's easy. No, I don't think it's easy. Come on. Up, up you go then. Yeah. Right up to take a run up. <laughs> Come on, then. Take a run up. I'm not, I'm not myself, I tried to run up as well. Yeah, Come on. Watch me. I thought it was easy. You could get up there. Watch me then, Renee. Are you not getting up? No. Do you want to show you how I got up? No, hey, oh, you're such a boring no. misery. You can't have a bit of fun with him, can you? Ready? Watch me. Should we show him how we got up? No, he's gone. He doesn't want to know. Come Go on, on then, Bear. We won't tell him how this we got up. How he doesn't a care. This is I'm a monkey. <laughs> Will you help me get up? Coming down, you have to wait for me. I'm a bit slow, what? You can't let him up here, it's really sharp this. Okay. I'm going to rock pool with the doggy. Come on, doggy. You can't see because it's such a cloudy afternoon, but it's really clear. Really clear water. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Hang on. Careful with your ankle. Hang on, hang on, Mum, I'm coming. Oh, I had a lot of tomatoes. I had tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Look how long that looks there. Can't really see it on full, but yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's quite deep there. Yeah, Mum, I can pinch up off there. I can't see there not being fish there to spear fish. Hang on, here we go. Mike, you're driving me. I'm actually. Are you? No. It looks lovely. Why not? Can't have my glasses. I can't wear the glasses. Stop. Oh, I lose mine. They're a bit more than a ten pound oh pair my of sunglasses. It's like five inches. Oh my god! Look at it in the corner there. <laughs> oh my god, mum, it's about this big. Mum, look at it. Me, hang on, we'll put the tomato down. Okay, we'll dive in. Mum, the poo bag's around there. I'll get it in a minute. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's the poo's come out the top, like, but. <laughs> I'm going to see my dig at that poopy bag and then I'll go over the boat. I don't think I think you'd be alright getting out there anyway. I'm gonna go round the boat. Yeah. Oh my glasses are here. I know, give us a right, hold it like that. Don't let Mom, I'm coming. <laughs> you gotta wanna do it. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a bit of 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 a I'll go low down. Three, two. Wait, 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 wait. Mum, is this taken off? Yeah, totally bare. Yeah. I mean, I did a shallow dive, but... Right, three, two, one, go! <laughs> I'm going to go right to both. Don't lose my tomato. Okay, guess what? Throw it that way then. I'm smashing the tomato because we don't want to eat it because my rat poison in or poison. You just never know, do you? Mum, ready? Ready? Found a lovely decent rat tomato. So we'll take it and eat it. Because you think so, you put rat poison Mom, in it. Mum, should we just eat it? Just do what you want with it. Just smash okay, it. Okay, let's smash it. it. No smash, smash it. Smash it then. Ready? Yeah. Bye, ready? Oh, that was really disappointing. Hang on, do it again. Look, look, get close and do it to the side. Oh, I cannot see out my left side, really. I bet it smells lush. It smells just like a normal tomato. Because it's a normal tomato, you just wasted. Go on, smash it in. Ready? Go smash it. Yeah, it's done. Pull! Oh, I never pull! I 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 p
Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> gently, no, 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 no. Trick side, trick side. Gently, 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 gently. Got to be gentle. You've got to learn to take it nicely. 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 Ah. Oh. <laughs> he's so sweet. Now look, he just runs He never away. knows where to go. He never knows where to go to eat it. He'll be back again. Oh, he's back again. As I try to train our crazy pooch, I'll say thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. And remember, follow the link in the description below if you want to see the extra footage in Patreon.